Rhythm up my reggae bass lovers, welcome back to the Reggae Bass Hub with me, Don Chandler, aka Don Instrumental. If you've been keeping up with the series so far, I started out with Flabber Holt, then next was Robbie Shakespeare, and I've left the basis in this tutorial to last because this was the order in which they influenced my playing. So in this tutorial, I introduce Aston Family Man Barrett, also known as Fams to us in Reggae World. Now I've left Family Man to last as I'm embarrassed to admit I was late to the Family Man party. I was well aware of Bob Marley's music as Exodus was the first album I begged my mum to buy when I was a kid. But I never really zoned in on Family Man's bass playing as I saw Bob Marley's music as the commercial side of reggae and I was too busy listening to Roots Radix and Sly and Robbie. I didn't really focus on the genius that I was ignoring from Aston Barrett and his brother Carlton Barrett. Now it wasn't until the late 90s and I was on tour with Freddie McGregor and the engineer came over to me at the end of the tour and said, Don, you play good, but you need to listen to Family Man. Now that engineer was Noel Brown, brother of bassist Glenn Brown. I hope you've been checking out Glenn's channel, got some good stuff going on over there. Also brother of Cleveland Brown, of Steely and Cleavy fame and Danny Brown and Dalton Brown, who was the guitarist on the tour. Rest in peace, Dalton. A very important family in the history of reggae music. Now, after that tour, I went and bought every Bob Marley CD I could get my hands on and listened to nothing else for at least three months. And this is when I came across the album Babylon by Bus, which is a live recording in Paris from 1978. Here is where I understood what Noel was trying to tell me. So in this tutorial, I'm going to break down the opening track from Babylon by Bus, which is Positive Vibration where Family Man is in full reggae bass ninja mode. Previously, I described Flabber Holt as the master of less is more. In the following video, I described Robbie Shakespeare as the boss of attitude. Now, the only word I can find to describe Family Man is unpredictable. He will play short notes when you expect them to be long. He'll play behind the beat in one bar and then bang on the beat in the next bar. So this is why I call him the reggae bass ninja. Now that's enough of an introduction from me, so let's dive into the tutorial. So I'm going to break this down into four sections, and there are four different parts before the bass line repeats and starts all over again from the top. Section one, Family Man starts out with a line that follows Bob Marley's melody. So Bob Marley sings. But Family Man plays. So I'll give you the notes for the first section. We have an A on fret five of the E string, open E, G fret three on the E string, back to the A, D fret five on the A string, C fret three on the A string. Then he ends the phrase with a, which is on F sharp fret two of the E string, then this little climb up from C to D, which is C, fret three on the A, C sharp, fret four on the A, finishing on D, fret five of the A. Now watch out for when he follows Carlton Barrett's hi-hat. Carlton Barrett plays this, the typical Carlton Barrett trademark. So Family Man latches onto that when we get to roundabout fret five onwards. I'll give you a demonstration and see if you can hear where this starts to happen. Normal 
full tempo. Just normal here. Now here we go. Section two. In this section, which is the verse, I'm expecting Family Man to continue with that hi-hat groove that he's been playing during the intro. Family Man actually decides to do the total opposite and plays this section totally straight. So for the first four bars, we play F sharp, which is fret two on your E string. We play this pattern. Then we move down to B, fret 2 on your A string. C sharp, fret 4 on your A string. Finish on the E, fret 2 on your E string. It's like a hammer on. So what we have there is. So for the next four bars, play more or less the same thing, which is F sharp. Then at the end of that we play an F sharp, fret 4 on your D string, C sharp, fret 4 on your A string, A, fret 5 on your E string. So it sounds like this. Which takes us nicely into the next section, which is the same thing, but on B. So on B, fret 2 on your A string, Then he plays this F sharp again, which is fret four on the D, C sharp fret four on the A, and D fret five on the A. So we get B. Which takes us back into the F sharp again. play with the backing track slowly and then normal tempo so that you can hear it in context. Normal tempo. So next we continue with the same theme. Our class is the same section as it's more or less the same part, just has a slightly different ending. So we're coming out of this section, but we're still playing the same. Hammer on again. But this time we play F sharp, fret four 
D, C sharp fret four on the A, A fret five on the E, finish on F sharp fret two on the E. So for all you theory minded people out there, that's a minor triad in reverse. So let's hear how that sounds with the backing track slowly at first and then record tempo. Check out our minor triad. Normal tempo. Section three for me is the what the hell just happened section. So here Family Man plays, it's a new section. So Bob Marley has this thing about taking you down these avenues. So we've gone, done one, two, this is section three, where we play D fret five on your A, A fret five on your E, C sharp fret four on your A, and G sharp fret four on your E. So we play this pattern, which is That happens for eight bars, but on bar nine, the next note is so late, I actually thought it was a mistake. It's an F sharp, but the note is so late that I had to go and check it further down the track again, just to see if he does it again, and he does it again. So then I go back to the original recording of Positive Vibration on the Rastaman Vibration album, and he actually recorded it in there. So this note is totally intentional. I will demonstrate with the track so you can understand what it is I'm trying to get across to you. Slowly, then normal tempo. Here it comes. Normal tempo. Watch it. Section four. To take us home, Family Man latches on to the back and vocal part. Rhythmically, in true Family Man style, even though the back and vocals are singing this, Family Man is gonna play that. The back and vocals play A, B, C sharp. Family Man plays B fret two on your A string, D fret three on your A string, C sharp fret four on your A string. Then we finish off with this F sharp, fret two on your E, and an open E, back to F sharp. That F sharp down a tone and back is something I will be talking about in a later tutorial, something that I use a lot when I'm creating original bass lines. I will give you a demonstration so we see how it sounds. Slow first. Normal tempo.
now I'm going to attempt to string section 1 straight through to section 4, one after the other. Here we go. Wish me luck. So there you have it. There's so much to take in from this tutorial. So rather than my usual, taking the concept from this baseline to create another original baseline like I would normally do, I'm gonna give you some time to get this under your fingers and absorb it. And I think we're gonna to have to do a Family Man part two. And in that part then I'll introduce the original baseline section. As usual, there is a backing track and PDF included in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button and read them up.